In this problem, we want to know how much money Wolfgang is going to have in 10 years. And so Wolfgang invested $5,000 today, so that will be invested for 10 years. But then in three, so he invested $5,000 today, and then in three years, he plans to invest another $2,000 into the same account. So in three years, he'll put $2,000 in, and then that'll have a chance to grow, and we'll want to know how much will be there total in 10 years. So again, it's always helpful to use a timeline. In this case, we know an investment today, an investment in three years, how much in 10 years, three in 10, and today, all nice whole numbers. Uh, we know that he can earn 14.3% per year, so it's an annual rate, so that's a year. And we have a compounding period uh, that's not given, so we have a year and a year, the smallest of those is a year, so when we draw our timeline, the notches can represent a year. So there's our timeline. So what happened? Today, Wolfgang put in 5,000. And in three years, Wolfgang plans to put in 2,000. And so how much will Wolfgang have in his account in 10 years? Well, the 5,000 and, and, and the um, interest rate expected to be 14.3 percent. So the 5,000 is going to grow 14.3 for two years, three years, four years, five years, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. The 2,000, since it was put in here, how many years is it going to have a chance to grow? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so in 10 years, Wolfgang will simply have the sum of those two. So the 5,000 the future value at time T. is simply equal to money invested at a certain point in time times 1 plus r to the t minus k, which simply means that if it got invested here, the, old, the number of periods that it had to grow was this period to this period. So that's the t minus k. So the 5,000, the future value of the 5,000 at time 10, is equal to 5,000 times 1.143. And how many years is it going to grow for? 10. And that is equal to $19,029.50. How about the 2,000 that get in, got invested in three years? Well, its future value in 10 years is equal to the 2,000 that got invested We want to know how much we'll have in 10 years, but we invested it in three years. 10 minus 3 which is 1.143 to the 7th, and that is equal to $5,097.46. And now we just need to add up what the 5,000 grows into after being invested for 10 years, and what the 2,000 grows into for being invested for 7 years. And what do we come up with? We come up with $24,127.18.